Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. The iPhone 15 Pro brings some of Apple's most advanced hardware within a relatively compact form factor. However, that's the case with the previous model too, the iPhone 14 Pro. How much has the cutting edge tech changed in just a year? And is the 15 Pro the better phone to get? Let's put these two iPhones head to head and find out. I have to mention one thing before we get started. The iPhone 14 Pro isn't available from Apple's official website anymore. However, you will still be able to get it from third-party retailers if you're interested. The newer model is of course more expensive, but it also brings some updated features. Maybe one of the biggest changes is the move from Lightning to USB-C connectivity. But another new feature is that on the new model, the alert slider has been replaced with an action key, which you can program to launch shortcuts. The design has been updated as well. At first glance, these two iPhones may look just the same, but the 15 Pro has a frame made of titanium rather than stainless steel. This means it's considerably lighter than last year's model. Also, that frame has rounder edges this time around. Initial reports suggested that the new generation iPhones were more prone to breaking, but these claims appear to have been debunked. Of course, all of the iPhones bring the same IP68 rated ingress protection against dust and water submersion. There isn't much to separate the iPhone 15 Pro's display from the one on the iPhone 14 Pro. They appear to be identical 6.1 inch OLED panels with ceramic shield protection, a 120Hz refresh rate, and a pill-shaped notch cutout for the selfie cam. This cutout comes with the dynamic island functionality to display relevant info and provide shortcuts. Either way, both of these displays are among the best in the business. They provide incredible max brightness and excellent color calibration. There's also support for both HDR10 Plus video and Dolby Vision, and the high refresh rate is quite adaptive too. The iPhone 15 Pro model also has slightly thinner bezels. When it comes to the quality of the stereo speakers, again, both of these phones are great, with good loudness. The iPhone 15 Pro does seem to have a bit more bass than the 14 Pro, though the older model's output is likable. You can hear for yourself with the provided link. Both of these phones have basically the same software experience, as they both run Apple's latest iOS 17. But because the iPhone 14 Pro is a year older, its software support won't last quite as long as the iPhone 15 Pro's. Also, since the iPhone 15 generation has USB-C connectivity, you can connect the new iPhones to an external display via USB-C Alt Mode. And through USB-C Host Mode, you can connect the iPhone 15 Pro to things like a mouse, keyboard, or external USB storage. The iPhone 15 Pro has the best smartphone chips that Apple has made so far, the A17 Pro. On the iPhone 14 Pro, you'll have to settle for their second best chipset, the A16 Bionic. The difference between the two when it comes to raw performance is around 10% when it comes to the CPU and up to 20% when it comes to graphics. Also notable is that the new chipset's hardware accelerated ray tracing is supposed to be many times faster than what you get in the previous generation. Still, while the iPhone 15 Pro has the latest and greatest chip, the 14 Pro will be just as good for all games and applications currently out there. Both of these iPhones have nearly the same battery capacity, and the battery life hasn't changed much at all since last year. Both phones earned the same endurance rating of 86 hours in our proprietary tests. The charging speed hasn't really changed either. With a proper adapter, we charged the 15 Pro from 0 to 57% in half an hour, and achieved 60% on the 14 Pro in the same amount of time. Getting to a full charge is slightly faster on the newer model at 93 minutes, but that still isn't too speedy. There is one trick that the iPhone 15 Pro can do that the 14 Pro can't. It's able to provide reverse wired charging through USB-C, useful to top up things like earbuds. Now for the cameras, and the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro have more or less the same setup. Both phones have a 48 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel 3x telephoto, a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam, and a LiDAR scanner. However, the 15 Pro uses different processing on its main camera and produces 24 megapixel photos by default, as opposed to the 12 megapixel ones from the previous model. It's not just about the numbers either. The default photos from the 15 Pro have better detail and a more natural look than those from the 14 Pro. Besides that, you get the same rendition with Apple's signature color science. The same can be said about the low light photos. The 24 megapixel output from the 15 Pro's main camera is more detailed than the 12 megapixel photos from the 14 Pro. 
if the 15 Pro's automatic night mode kicks in. The photos come out at 12 megapixels instead, but it doesn't kick in very often. The quality of the telephoto cam's 3x zoom shots is the same between both iPhones. And you can also say that about the ultra-wide photos. And finally, the video capture is excellent, from either the iPhone 14 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro. You can record in up to 4K with any of the cameras, with great stabilization. So there you have it guys, two flagship iPhones duking it out. As you'd expect, the difference in quality after just one year of upgrades isn't huge. Still, the iPhone 15 Pro gets you the lighter titanium design, the faster chipset, and the higher quality photos from the main cam. Meanwhile, the iPhone 14 Pro's heavier steel build may be more attractive to some people. And most importantly, this phone comes at a lower price. The change from Lightning to USB-C also ushers the iPhones into a world of universal connectivity, and that's also a consideration. The new models will move on with the more universal USB standard, but if you already are used to using Lightning, then the change may not be a benefit to you. So while the iPhone 15 Pro may be the latest and the greatest, the previous model still has merit, and if you want to save some money, it could be worth considering. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.